What's up, Facebook Live? Nice to see you all. Good morning, good, good afternoon. Let me get Instagram going real quick. Let's see. That's my beautiful wife. As you're tuning in, what's up, Instagram Live? Nice to see you all. Uh, as you're tuning in, love to know, number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, love to know, you're here. Um, we're in a new location. We're at the airport right now. We're traveling back home. Merrick, nice to see you. Hopefully, you can hear me loud and clear. Christy, welcome. Welcome. Hello, friends. Wes. Karun, welcome. Now, as you're tuning in, love to know, again, number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, love to know three things you're grateful for. Uh, today's topic is change your story, change your life. And we're on day number 26 of our 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge. Uh, my wife and I are in the Houston airport hanging out. Hello from the Netherlands. Ali, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Moon, hello. Welcome. Welcome back. Hello, friends from San Jose, India. Nice to see you. Hugh, welcome. Dixie, welcome. Lovely glasses, thank you. Jared, welcome back. And and so, real quick, there's a really cool book. Good morning. I think it's good morning from Sydney. Or good evening. Jim, Queensland, Australia. Nice to see you. Welcome. Hello from Brisbane. Hello from India. Welcome, welcome. Um, so today's topic, it's one of my favorite topics. It's something, there was a book called Sapiens and I was reading, and it talks about whoever controls the story collectively controls your life. And they say, you know, what's the value of a $100 bill? And so if you have a $100 bill, so let's say you got a hundred bucks, and you gotta ask, what's the value of this? And, and the value of the paper isn't a whole lot, which is interesting. So the value of the paper isn't a whole lot unless we agree on the story of the paper. And, and so that's an interesting thought to consider because if I took the paper by itself and tried to do something with it, it's not worth anything. But if you agree that the story of the paper says it's worth so much value, and then I can trade you that value for something that you have, now it's worth something, because we both believe in the story. And so if you believe in the story, though, and I don't believe in the story, you try to hand me $100 for something, and I just say no. I'll give you a silly example. I was traveling in London. Hello, Hugh. Nice to see you. And I, I got off a plane. I was late to a meeting. I jumped in a taxi. Zipping away, we pulled up at the restaurant, and I went to go get out of the taxi, and I realized, oh my gosh, I only I didn't get change in uh, British pounds. I didn't have any sterling with me, and so I, I took out my wallet, and the, the the cab fee was thirty pounds, and so I I said, hey, here's the crazy part: I don't have any British pounds on me. Is it okay if I give you a um, hundred U.S. dollars, and you can just trade in the difference at the bank, and you'll make you know the difference. You'll you'll be able to keep the difference, and that's as an apology from me to you because I didn't have. Uh, the right currency on me. And the guy looked at me and said, no, why, what am I going to do with that? And I was like, no, seriously, like take it to the bank. It's worth more than the fare. All you have to do is trade it in. And literally you're going to make, you're going to make money. You'll have more money at the end if you just take this transaction. And he just shook his head. He's like, no. I said, okay, you take a credit card. He's like, no, cash only. And I remember being stumped. And, and what I was stumped about is the guy I was trying to trade with didn't believe in the story that, that I believed in about how much this $100 U.S. bill was worth. And so what's interesting is, you know, stuck in a little weird situation like that. I, I went in and I asked the bartender at the, at the restaurant where I was going to. I said, hey, could you, could you trade me $100 U.S. dollars for, I just need 30 British pounds. It's worth more. I'll give it to you. Just give me the you know, 30 and I'll go pay the taxi guy and we'll be good. And he looked at me. He's like, no. What, what am I going to do with that? And I was laughing because I was in an environment where people didn't believe the same story that I was believing in in that moment. I believed that I was trying to offer them more value than what it is that I was asking in return. And it was a fair trade. They didn't believe it was a fair trade because they didn't see anything they could do with 
the value I was offering. Now, what's interesting is when we look at your business, certain value that you're trying to offer to a client, there's certain value that you're trying to offer, um, but if you believe in the story of the value that you're offering, but the person you're trying to offer it to doesn't believe in the value of the story that you're offering, you're in trouble. Um, I, I think one of my one of my mentors and my favorite examples, he says it's, it's like turning off the lights and trying to wink at a pretty girl in the dark. It's not worth much. And so one big thing to consider in your business and in, in what it is that you do, what is the value that you're trying to offer and what is the story you need to wrap around that value so that the client or the person that you're sharing with gets it. They believe in it too and it makes sense to them. Uh, in NLP, you would call this a pre-frame. How do you need to frame what it is that you're doing? Someone would start to see the same kind of value that you see in it and they would see the value as well. Um, when, when, you, when you look at this concept and you look at this thought, there's another layer. So that might be in your business. How do you wrap the value in what it is that you're doing? Um, how do you wrap the value around what it is you're doing? And how do you create such a story that other people believe in the story too and they're willing to make the trade to purchase from you whatever value that you're offering? Now that's a business version of this concept. And we take this concept over your personal life. Whoever controls the story, whoever controls the story controls your life. So one big thing you might want to consider is the, the goals, the targets that you're looking to hit by the end of this 100-day journey together, by the end of 2019, what's the story that's prevented you in the past from achieving the results that you want? And remember, whoever controls the story controls your life. And so what's the story that most often keeps you from achieving the results that you really desire and deserve? And we've asked this question before on here, and people have said, well, the story is that uh, I get in my own way. Um, it's my fear, it's my anxiety, it's my stress, it's my, and they, you came up with all these stories of things that prevent you from achieving what it is that you want to achieve. And so the question becomes, what, how would you need to rewrite this story so that it actually serves you, so that it actually helps you get the results that you desire and deserve? It actually propels you, sustains you, supports you. It, it helps you cut through the chaos to get to the, the results that you're really going after. And so today's simple lesson, real simple, really short and sweet, you gotta control the story. And we're gonna control it in two places. Number one, we're gonna control it in your business, and we're gonna control what is the story that you need to control around the value that you're offering, and how do you explain, express, highlight, acknowledge, spotlight the value that you're trying to offer in a way that your, your ideal client sees the value and appreciates the value and is willing to make the trade for the value that you're offering. How do you acknowledge it and highlight it? Because value created but not shown or not, you know, you don't show someone the value you created. You think but they don't even know it exists. So value created but not highlighted or not acknowledged is worthless. Um, and, and so you really want to make sure that whatever value you're creating, you're showing them, you're acknowledging it, you're spotlighting it, you're, you're really pointing it out to them so they go, oh, that's the value, and they get it. Um, so in your, in your business, we need to figure out what's the value, what's the story around the value you're adding, and how do you express that story in a way that your clients get it, and they, they, it's worth the trade to, to do business with you. And then in your personal life, we want to identify real simple What's the story most often that prevents you from getting the results you want? And how do we rewrite that story so that it now supports you, sustains you, inspires you, ignites you, and compels you to keep moving forward and doing what you want to do? Um, hopefully this is useful. Have some fun with this. Again, we're on day number 26 of our 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge. Uh, kick some butt. We're going to go catch a flight, and we'll see you all later.